After Tahoe's wet season, water recreation businesses expecting to reap its benefits. At high flow, good operating, we're, we're all the way up here. Are now planning on staying closed possibly the entire season. We're just bummed about the whole situation, especially, you know, thinking we were going to come into this summer with a great year. That's because the water levels in part of the Truckee River is so shallow you can see the rocks and the shoreline. When the flow is too low, those rocks surface and the rafts would get stuck on them and you wouldn't be able to make it through certain sections. This means another slow year for the Truckee Raft Company. Last year our season ended early because there wasn't enough water and the level started dropping in the river and yeah now this year too much water but because of that we're still seeing low water. If they do open Martin thinks it'll be a maximum of one month impacting local hiring in the area. While it's bad news for businesses it's also great for the main water supply. Tahoe is kind of unique in how we operate the system. David Wathen says that while they can't release water for rafting purposes, the benefits of storing this year's water supply are greater. With a full Tahoe, we can uh, typically make it about three years of, of average to below average water years. So to, to fill it up is, is pretty important and, and to, to maintain our water supply to, to get us through those really dry years. Since the fall of last year, Lake Tahoe has stored a significant amount of water. Officials add that if it does rain over the summer, they are going to be releasing water into the river to make sure that the lake is in an appropriate water level. In Tahoe, Maricela de la Cruz, KCRA 3 News.